What is up, everybody? It's your boy, King Boys Productions, and I am back at it with another reaction video. So today, I am here with Polo G, Badman's, in parentheses, Smooth Criminal. This is the official video. I've been hyped for this ever since it got like a, a, like previewed on TikTok. Um, I don't know who leaked it. I don't know if it got leaked or if it was Polo's team that posted this original snippet. I don't know, but it sounds sick, and it's and I'm very excited for this song. You know, obviously, Polo going over like a Michael Jackson beat. I mean, he goes, Lil Cap a lot, bitch. Dude, that, that part is so hype. All over the like Michael Jackson beat. I'm hyped for this. Um, yeah, we're just going to jump into it. I do want to mention, I have to mention this every time because I've had, I still get comments about it. It hasn't been as much as, as much, as much of an issue. I don't know why that was such a hard sentence. It hasn't been as much of an issue since I've started posting on Saturdays, which maybe that, maybe it just takes a second that you, you don't just repost the video right away. I don't know. But since I've started posting on Saturdays, it hasn't been as much of an issue, like videos getting blocked. But we'll see. I don't know. But if, if the video for some reason gets blocked, I'll read, I'll re uh, edit it and put pictures over the video that's usually right here. And it will literally just be like the album cover of the song. It would just be blocking this. So just know if I've, if I'm talking about something in the video and you can't see it, I'm sorry, but it's just, I'm, I just want the videos to be up and you guys have to watch it. So um, it might be up. I don't know if, if it's just an issue, like maybe it's if I record too early on Fridays and it like doesn't do it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the issue is. This fucking train is making loud ass, is still honking outside. Um, I don't even know if you guys can hear that. Hopefully not. Um, but let's get into this song. I'm hyped, bro. Like this, this preview got me so hyped for this. I hope the whole rest of the song is impressive as the beginning. Let's go. Ow! Look how black, bitch. Ha! Smooth criminal, Mike Jack, and I still like to throw the full fat like Mike back. Pull that tank out just to make a statement. He gon' need a body bag or a nice sack. He a bitch, he a fold under pressure. I can tell from his posture, man, he ain't really like that. Mama told me I don't care if you scared, go man for the kill. If they try, you better fight back. We will beat his ass if he try to throw the folks up. What's all that shit you was saying like you was so tough? They gon' have to carry your mans if he approach us. Creeping in that glizzy of bland when we get close up. Rich ass gangster, my gun match the color of my cop. Any sudden movement in this bitch go fuck, fuck. Bet I have him hugging, I lie. I'm the goat, I'm a thug, I'm a star. Young and trying to clear a crowd with the heat. When you run, better keep it 40 cow by the seat. He was back hey. until he found him to see. There's a whole lot of evil women around in the streets. So, so you better look both ways. Make your soul shake. Demon standing in the doorway. Tell me, Annie, are you okay? Screaming out, no way. Tell me, Annie, are you okay? Still on that bullshit, MJ. Really hold, hold up. First of all, adding that Annie, are you okay into that is fire as hell. But like, he kind of came with a little singing too. I was not expecting this. The little singing that he... Hold on, I gotta rewind a little bit. You better look both ways, make your soul shake. Demon standing in the doorway. Tell me, Annie, are you okay? Screaming out, no way. Tell me, Annie, are you jumps okay? Back in. Still on that bullshit, MJ. Really one of the hottest, and I never dropped a mixtape. Oh. All my life had to risk tape. But if they come and try me before they kick it to my wrist break, let anybody in this bitch play. I'ma have my seeds leave his ass in the ground with a stiff face. Where I'm from, all the killers turn hood legend. And they known through the blocks like the Kimbe. Told no so I'm bigger than the great Khalid. 30 shots and knock him down like Muhammad Ali. Do the race, scratch off in the track off G. Catch him lacking, then it's RIP. Is that it? Was that him? Oh no, that's not him. I thought he was hitting the little Michael Jackson moves and shit. To the family, friends, and fans of Michael Jackson, his estate, we are truly grateful for your support in the release of this song and music video. MJ is loved all around the world. We use the opportunity to represent this song for the future. We thank you sincerely and hope you have. Con we hope we have contributed our small part to the everlasting memory and legend of the greatest entertainer of all time. Thank you, Polo G. Hey, hey, that's that's fire too. Like I feel like not a lot of people would be able to sample Michael Jackson like that, and like. First of all, it'd be good as fuck, like Polo G. Because, like, that's got to be a tough... That's a tough thing. Because imagine... That song was fire, man. Like, I'll, I'll just say that right off the jump. That shit was fire. <laughs> like, like he, the verse was so good. And then, like, obviously the little singing part that he came in with. I was like, damn, Polo G. Um, but Michael Jackson's really one of those artists that, like... 
if you fuck up his songs, people will be goddamn pissed. So like, if you sample a Michael Jackson song for whatever reason, it's you gotta be damn good, and you have to make sure that it's good, because they're gonna come after you. They're gonna come after you with like pitchforks if it's not good, and they're gonna be like, "Why would you sample this? Yeah, get him." But man, Polo G. A lot of people were talking shit about that last album. I liked it. I liked a lot of the stuff off the last album. But like, you know, they're making all those jokes like, oh, Piano G, because all, all of his beats kind of sounded similar. And they did. I will say like a lot of the album, like it did sound pretty similar, but it was good. It, I don't know. I, I don't know why he got so much slander for it, but that shit was good. And he came back with this just to be like, I'm still the fucking GOAT. And I fucking love it. I think he's dropping a, uh, I don't know if it's a, I think it's a deluxe version of this, of the Hall of Fame album. He's dropping that. I don't know when he's dropping that. I saw that. I saw it on Instagram, I think. I think he might have posted it. I can't remember. But there's supposed to be a deluxe dropping. And I think, yeah, I think he posted it because he wrote, he wrote about it. Like, um, his first album was him just getting started. The GOAT is when he sort of took over. Hall of Fame is when, like, you know, he's, he's in his bag kind of thing. And it's cool to see. I really like Polo G. I really like his growth. And, you know, he's got a lot of respect from people in the game because he is one of the best right now. He's at the top of the game currently. Definitely. And, man, like I said, sampling MJ, that shit ain't easy. Because it's easy to be ass. Because everyone wants to compare it to MJ's original, even though it's just a sample. But I think he did a damn good job on this. And... You know, obviously there was a lot of hype built around it with that first little snippet that came out, but it definitely lived up to the hype, I would say. And I'm, I'm very excited to see where where Polo G's future takes him, cause like he's so talented, and I hope he doesn't let like this last, you know, the slander from the internet, like oh piano G, I hope he doesn't let that take that too, too much to heart. I don't think he will. I think he's just like I'm gonna do my fucking thing. Let me do my damn thing. Which he should, because he's a damn good artist, like I said. People don't like your like like your one tape, then just make something else. Or make something that you enjoy. You know, like people your fans are gonna enjoy the stuff that you enjoy. That's how I think it comes down to. I gotta sneeze. <sighs> okay, I got it. <laughs> Y'all ever have that shit where you're like about to sneeze and it, it like won't come? Or like it's like right on you're like right on the brink and then it's like nope. That shit is the most annoying thing in the world. That just happened to me. Like, well, I usually like, if you plug your nose, I don't know if this works for everyone, but I know like if I plug my nose and like hold it, then it kind of stops the sneeze. What the hell do sneezes even come from? I'm actually, I actually never really learned that. I need some, maybe I should ask my like, uh, my PhD uh, roommates. Um, like where do sneezes come from? Like where? Is it, is it like a buildup of gases in your body that just needs to expel quickly? I, I don't know, because like I know like gas is like burps and farts and shit, but like what the hell is, triggers a sneeze? Like I know like dust, I guess if dust gets in your airway, is it like a blockage in your airway? I don't know. You didn't turn into, we didn't turn into like fucking <laughs> biology class. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did you guys like the song? Um, is it a is it a L is it a W L song? No, I'm just kidding, dude. That's kind of crazy. Like people actually talk like that now in real life. They'll be like, "Oh, the W song, W thing, W." Like it's like they're in a Twitch chat or in a chat on like in like real life. It's like, Ugh, dude. You know what's weird? It's definitely weird being like the youngest person in like in a, in a situation. Like I'm not the youngest person that lives in this house. But I am like the second youngest. And but at work, I'm the youngest person that works there. Like the only person like there's two people like kind of close to my age, like closer to my age. It's my buddy, my buddy Jason that works there and this other girl that works there. I think I think they're both the same age, which is a year older than I am. And then there's like people in their late 20s. There's people in like the early 30s. Like it's a variety of ages, but like it's weird being like the youngest at a workplace or any anything. Honestly, it's weird being like the youngest person there. That shit's weird. I don't know. It just it's 
because like every time like something weird happens with like a generational thing goes like technically i am gen z you know technically i am but like so like anytime something bad happens with like the new generation they're always like that's you it's like no it's not me and i know people always make this joke that it's like the kids born from 97 to like 2001 are like a different group of people like dude i actually believe that like i actually believe like from 97 to 2001 it was like a different group of people to what it is like now it's like my brother was born in 2003 and he acts like not different but like he grew up like by the time like he was in middle school and stuff like that like cell phones were already like big when i was in middle school like cell phones weren't that big yet i had like an ipad ipod most of high school so like it's weird to think like from nine even like 97 to 2000 like that group of people we grew up in an age where like cell phones weren't a big thing until like probably middle of middle school they started becoming big and like social media started like blowing up and started becoming huge because like i know i know like vine that like took off and i know that was like my freshman year of high school that that took off because i just remember coming home from football practice every day and watching vines and then like in the mornings i would go i'd wake up I go eat some breakfast, make my lunch, and then I would go downstairs in, into my room and literally just watch Vines until I needed to leave for the bus. I just remember that. And then it was early high school. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's crazy because like growing up, I, I think it's crazy because like I think about like my little sister and my little brother, their whole life they grew up with technology. Like when they were babies they were like could watch shit on like an ipad or watch you know play games on an ipad or on, on an iphone or whatever it is so it's kind of crazy to think like i know i don't know if this is necessarily true but i feel like kids don't have as good of imaginations anymore i don't know if that's if that's really true or whatever but i remember when i was a kid like i just, i didn't have a lot of people that, that were around to play with like outside the house and shit so like I used to have to like make up shit, like make up fake worlds and make up fake games and shit that I would have to pretend that it's because I was alone. So it was like I had to I had to entertain myself somehow. So I'd make up like fake worlds and shit, and I'd use like play with my toys and shit, and I'd pretend I'd make up like fake little scenarios with them and shit. I don't know. And I feel like that kind of sparked my creative gene, and that's like why I do the things that I like to do now, like working on films and working on you know doing videos on the internet i feel like it's because i i'm able to just think of ideas better i don't know <laughs> i don't really know i don't even know what i'm saying um anyway if you guys did like please leave a like please i just spit everywhere all over my mic all over my computer oh anyways if you guys did like please leave a like please subscribe and until next time it's your boy king boys productions squad my love's like a black hole, sun so bright when it burns, so dark when it's done. So hard to relate to one when I find myself tripping off that blunt. Tripping off this blunt, so I might be blunt if I do confront you.